What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Going to break down Blue on Black by Kenny Wayne Shepherd. I'm going to give uh, standard tuning and a drop D version so two guitar players can play together or you could choose which one to do. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. And if you check down there, uh, links below for helpful resources for learning guitar. So thank you for that support. Let's break it down. All right, we're going to start with a D five chord. So think of a D major, but we're not playing the high E. So you can mute it with your middle finger, but it's not pressed down, or you can use your palm, or you can avoid strumming it. So that's the first little part. And I'm going to give you a few variations because um, you could do a drop D kind of version, but this is standard tuning right now. D, D, so I'm just hammering on that G string. And then after that, you have to go. And so that's O, two, three. And then you form the C add nine chord. So when you go, you have, give it one big stab. So. So next we're going to play a G over B, which is just like we're going from here to like a G chord, but first it's that B note root. And then lay your middle finger down to hit that third fret E string. So it's uh Watch again. So you hit that, and da 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 bum, up da da bum. So there's a bass line in there that gives it a little more of this Almond Brothers thing, which would be, and, but, so in other words, if you're playing a whole, in, in a band, the bass player is going to cover this, but if you're soloing, doing a solo performance, I think you're going to want to add this part. Instead of the, instead we're going to go, and this is just your choice. So that's the third fret A string. Which is just like, but instead it's. You could do two of them. I think that's what the bass player's doing. One's probably better for guitar solo performance, but you can mix it up. I mean, you could do that. You could do this one. So, uh, those are options 
for you to mess around with. But that's pretty much the main song. The chorus, you know, there's more guitars layered in there, but it's still that same thing. I'm going to do the one finger. A, G. All right, so soloing in the D blues zone, D minor pentatonic, D minor pentatonic blues scale. And during the solo, there's just a little uh, change of F to G. All right, so now let's go to drop D and just give ourselves a different option. I just drop that down. And so what you get now is when you play that D5, you can play the whole, you know, thickest strings. And the same embellishment you can do. And so that's where you get to that G chord. Since we've tuned the string down, the G note's right here. So you're just going to grab that and you could just, you know, you're not worried about the high E string. So any of these other, you know, when you do that, the A string is muted off by your middle finger. You just strum those and you get that G, that same G chord that you're looking for. Now, if you really, you know, if you wanted to keep those, you could do, figure out a way to still get those on top there to play that G chord. That A chord you can still play like this, but then you gotta go play that G chord. You do the one finger, you could add, add that, you could add that on top. I would just go like that. And especially, you know, it'd be great to have two guitars. One could be doing the standard tuning and you can arrange it. But so the drop D, get that low D in there, which is great. Then you gotta do that. And then the A. And then that little F up to G, you would just have to go.
Alright, thanks again you guys. Really appreciate your support. Thanks for hanging out. I uh, hope to see you again real soon. Uh, if you haven't, I appreciate you subscribing to the channel. And then also links below help you learn guitar. Thanks again guys. Hope to see you later.